I just started reading or listening to the audiobook. It's so creepy. I love it. It's kind of like an added layer because I can hear his voice. Mm -hmm. um, what about the novel made you think, I need to adapt to this? It was his voice, really. The creepiness, the intimacy of it, how seductive it is to hear someone's honest, unfiltered thoughts. Yeah. I mean, long before I realized I don't do all of the stuff Joe does, and there comes a point in the novel where you're like, Oh, no, I would never do that. At first, I felt like I had a lot in common with him. That my inner voice, the one that I kind of polish up before I bring it out to the world, can be a little judgy, can be a little harsh. So I, I thought we were kindred spirits for a minute. And then, so I wanted to make the show so we could all make the same mistake together. So it's like my dream. But obviously, Joe is an extreme case. But what about, like, our cultural culture of masculinity kind of drives his action? Well, we have a really strong message for boys and young men about who you have to be to be a good good man, who you have to do to win and deserve a woman. And we take that to extremes in the romantic movies we all love. And then in real life, that behavior is sort of creepy. I mean, the, telling them to just keep pursuing, not take no for an answer. And it can go to bad places, and sometimes it does. I mean, I think in the current climate, where we're talking a lot about the relationship between the sexes, we have to not just talk about women and the way we're quote unquote victimized. We have to talk about the messages we give our men too and how mixed those messages are and how hard it is to really figure out how to be a good man. What was the creepiest scene that you filmed that kind of gave you the heebie jeebies? Yeah, it's almost exactly. Oh, there were so many, but I will just say. Very early in the first episode, Joe spends a day kind of stalking Beck, and he ends up outside her window watching her at night. Um, her ex-boyfriend has just come over for a booty call, and Penn creeped all of us out, but delightfully. He's so good in that scene. I watched it, I was like, there's no way people are going to be able to come back from this, but weirdly by the next act, you're kind of rooting for him again. It's pretty fascinating. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that the fans of the novels might uh, not expect in the show? Um, they might not expect that we go into Beck's point of view as well, but we did expand that for the TV show. It was really important to us that you you start with Joe and what he thinks is true about Beck, but eventually we'll get into the truth of Beck by getting more squarely into her POV. So you'll get a really complete picture of her character as well. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.